Since its creation in 1932, Ethan Allen Interiors has risen to become an iconic American furniture retailer with a worldwide brand recognition. At the helm of the company is Farouk Kathwari. He became Ethan Allen's chairman and CEO in 1987 after years of supplying the business with lighting and other home accessories from his import business. We headed over to Ethan Allen's headquarters in Connecticut to sit down with Kathwari to talk about everything from the importance of getting your team on board and why you can't be afraid of change in this week's Learning from the Pros. One of our main jobs is to make sure that the ideas are sold internally, that people have a great buy-in. So when we have an idea or I have an idea, I ask opinions. I say, is, what, what do you think? Not only do I get input, but it, they become part of that idea. At the end of the day, good ideas work if people accept them as their ideas. You have to take it on the road. You have to talk to people continuously because a good idea is good if it is accepted by people. Being relevant is very critical. I question myself all the time. I discuss with my associates, are we relevant? You know, when this great recession took place five or six years back, it really hit us like it hit everybody else. Ethan Allen brand is only sold in Ethan Allen uh, stores. It is uh, sold by 1,500 interior designers. So we questioned it. Are we relevant? Should we have 1,500 interior designers when the world is moving towards no service? Are we relevant in our technology? So you question it and you keep on improving. You gotta embrace change. Reinvention has got to be part of our DNA. Ethan Allen is a great, iconic American brand. When I got involved, Ethan Allen had over 85 to 90% brand recognition. It was known for early American colonial furniture. When I got involved, things had, were starting to change. Colonial and early American was no longer the predominant style. The manufacturing that had been established since 1932, some were great and some were not in the right places. So we had to change. We had to change our product lines, our image, our manufacturing, even many people in the leadership positions. <laughs> leader has to be a captain of the team. That is playing with the team, strategizing, cheering, not be sitting on the sidelines. We have a complex organization, we've got lots of talented people, so one has to be careful that on one hand you remain, you are involved, but on the other hand you've got to let people do their work and do their jobs. Be involved in the decision making of determining what the strategy is, and then letting people implement it and be part of it, understanding that it's being implemented but not being involved on every detail. My involvement is generally at the beginning and at the end. In the middle, our associates develop the programs. Mm -hmm. 